हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू टेस्ट एनजी फ्रेमवर्क ट्रेनिंग सेशन 3 दिस आर देन वंस अगेन टुडे आई विल डिस्कस हाउ वी कैन एनेबल एंड डिसेबल ए पर्टिकुलर टेस्ट इन टेस्ट एनजी फ्रेमवर्क थैंक यू ऑल फॉर वाचिंग माय वीडियोस इन केस यू आर एंजॉइंग माय वीडियोस एंड लर्निंग ऑटोमेशन टेस्टिंग अलोंग विद जावा प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर माय वीडियोस डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल and press the bell icon so that you will get notification as and when I will upload any new videos. Do not forget to provide your valuable comment or any input or suggestion. Stay tuned for my next videos. STG provides an attributes for enabling and disabling power at the rate test. So at the rate means right you add the rate whenever you are using at the rate test right this is count as a particular test script okay and whenever you are running the test, I mean test and the test, right? How many test at the rate test is there? So based on that, it will provide you total number of test cases executed and pass and fail and skipped count, right? There are many times when user do not want to run a particular at the rate test, and it's not a better alternative way to remove the whole test method from the class because sometimes the same class need to, same same method need to be used or run it, right? <coughs> so that is the reason. We should not <coughs> remove a particular at the rate test methods from the test suit, right? Unless we are sure that it will not uh, no longer used in future, we should not use, I mean remove it. In case maybe for a particular condition it is not used, we can we need to disable the test, right? Okay. So using at the rate test enable equal to false use method user will not run the method or it will simply skip or ignore the method and execute the next one so that syntax you can use enabled equal to false in the test at the rate test method right so if we do it that particular <coughs> method will not be run it will be skipped or ignored so that's why we can kind of comment out particular test right so that as and when it will require we can make it change it to again Either we can remove that part, enable equal to false, or we can, I mean, change it to enable equal to true. So that again, next time, we, we will again consider. In case user want to execute or run method, then simply add true above the methods, okay? Add, like, enable equal to true. Suppose I am giving a simple example, say, there might be situation where user have written a skeleton code, while development for that feature is still in development, okay? Suppose, a particular holistic picture, take a holistic picture, a 10 component is there, right? <coughs> but suppose say, like 2 or 3 component development is still in progress and rest of the component com completed, right? But if the tester perspective, tester completed all the 10 script, right? All the 10 features. But right now, it is not possible to test the 2 or 3 feature which is in still in progress. So right now, what the tester will do? He, will, he or she will simply change the enabled equal to false for those two or three features which is not already developed okay so that the rest of the code will be executed and it will give you the result so as and why this new feature will be developed so again we can change it to true right so that's why we, it plays an important role so that we, we, we need to enable or disable a particular test by default test ng considers enable equal to true if user do not provide once in case you are not providing anything obviously it is taking the default value as true at the rate test denoted with enable equal to false will be ignored from the suit, not skipped. It is an optional parameter. Skipping is different, okay. Skipping is means something we are skipping a particular test step, but it will be ignored, okay. It is not mandatory for test ng to run enable equal to true method when this method depends on the other method. Sometimes, right, particular method can be dependent to the other, dependent to the other, right? Other method. And in case the one method is dependent to the other and you are changing the method to the fault, so it will be create problem, lot of problem for the other method because that method will be not executed, right? And obviously that dependent method will not be run fully, okay? So that are the important aspect for enabling and disabling a test in the test ng. I will show you now in the real time how we can do it. So here in the test ng project, right, there is a package, test ng package, I am creating a new test ng class. You need to right click on the package new and others and here you need to select the test ng folder and test ng class you need to click on the next you need to give the class name suppose 
टेस्ट एन जी चेक नेबल और डिजेबल ओके आई एम नॉट सिलेक्टिंग एनी एनोटेशन सो बाई डिफॉल्ट ऑब्वियसली टेस्ट एनोटेशन विल बी देर इन योर टेस्ट इन योर क्लास राइट टेस्ट एन जी क्लास दैट पर्टिकुलर क्लास टेस्ट एन जी इन एबल और डिजेबल ओके सो हेयर आई कैन चेंज द मेथड नेम राइट टेस्ट वन से आई एम चेंजिंग एंड आई एम गिविंग सम बॉडी आउटपुट राइट आई वॉन्ट टू प्रिंट सम आउटपुट ओके आउटपुट विल बी सपोज आउटपुट फॉर और मेथड टेस्ट वन ओके नाउ आई विल क्रिएट सेवरल मेथड्स सेवरल टेस्ट सपोज टेस्ट टू ओके एंड आई एम चेंजिंग इट टू टेस्ट टू एंड हेयर आई एम चेंजिंग आई एम क्रिएटिंग अनदर मेथड टेस्ट थ्री ओके आई एम चेंजिंग इट टू स्मॉल वर्ड मेथड नेम शुड बी ऑब्वियसली स्मॉल वर्ड स्टार्ट विथ एंड एंड थ्री So here I have created three methods, right? And I am using three at the rate test annotation. Obviously, it will consider a three different script kind of stuff, right? So here I am just giving the output, output for method one, method two, method three for three methods, right? And here in the at the rate test annotation, I did not provide anything, right? Enable equal to false or true. So by default, obviously, it will take the enable equal to true. That means all the test annotation will be considered, all the test method will be considered. So if you run it, right, right click. And run as and test ng test. So all the method will be run, and all output for all the method will come here, right? You can see it is coming, right? Output for test method one, two, and three. Test two, right? And past is showing that test one method, test two method, and test three method. Three are passed. Here in the output you can see, right? Test run equal to three and failure equal to zero. Skip equal to zero. Nothing will be skipped, okay? And if you refresh the project, if you go to the test output folder. You can get the right test ng result and XML, right? You can see, right? You can see total number of three past this three, right? And test one, test two, and test three. These three method has run with the durations, total duration, and also start time and end time, right? Now, how we can disable a test? What is the syntax? Never equal to false. You need to provide disable a text, right? Disable a test, and in case if you want to enable a test again, you need to either remove that part or you need to make enable equal to true. Okay. Suppose I don't want to run that particular test one, though I want don't want to remove it because at that point of time that particular test or method will, I mean, can be deused, right? So that is the reason it is not recommended in case you know that some method is not completed, but it will be used in the future. It is recommended not to delete or remove the method. Instead of that, we will change it enables equal to false. Okay, so that's the syntax you need to use it. Okay, and here I did not provide anything. If you provide enable equal to true, okay, still it will work. Means it will run. Okay, so here for the test three I did not give anything. Right here, so obviously it will run. And test two, I have given enable equal to true, so it will still run. And for test one, I am given enable equal to false, so it will not run. It will skip, so it will be ignored, and it will go to the next step, next method, right? So here, yeah, even I am disabling the first method, but it will not be stopping the other two method. It will continue the other two method execution. So let's run it. So here, test one will be skipped because here enable equal to false, or it will be ignored. And test two will not be ignored because here enable equal to true. So blank or enable equal to true is the same meaning, right? If you want to disable a particular test, so you need to use enable equal to false. Let's run it. So here, though we have three tests, right? Still, only two tests will be running. You can see here, right? Test method two and test method three is coming. One is not coming, right? And pass status. You can see total run is two, and pass status is showing us. Test two and test three is passed, right? Okay. And if you again replace the output, you can see in same out same way in the output, right? You can see total ignored is one, right? You can see that will be ignored. Whatever you are making, right, as false, 
so it will be ignored right and pass this to keep this zero fail this zero so whenever you are changing the inability equal to false so it will not be skipped it will be ignored okay so that is the reason right total finish time total duration start time and here you can see test 2 and test 3 is coming only and one skip is getting ignored one test is ignored right now here to either remove that part okay so it will again change it to two right and here you can also make disable it right for the three you can disable it also it two also you can disable it so you need to change it to false okay so then the capital false will not work okay because it is case sensitive right you can see some error is coming so similarly capital false capital true will not work you need to give the small o, all the lower case right false okay suppose here if you, if you change it to true it will not work right you can see remember is coming it should be either true or false so here i am disabling the test 2 right so i for the test 1 i did not give anything so obviously test 1 will be Considered and again test 3 will be considered because here it is 2. Let's run the code and let's see. Right, you can see total test run is 2 and 1 and 3 should be output should be there for 1 and 3, right? And 2 is ignored, right? And if you refresh it again, so you can see total number of skipped run is 2 and ignored is 1, right? output will be for 1 and 3 right here you can see ignore equal to 1 total is run past is 2 right now if you want to disable everyone every all the test right disable equal to false here disable equal to false now if you run it what happened none of the skip will be run everything will be ignored okay because for all the test annotation i have changed it to run right false Level equal to false, you can see total run equal to 0, failure equal to 0, skip equal to 0. And in the last portions, it will show you the error, the no test found, nothing was run. And here in the output folder, if you refresh it again, if you go to the test in the XML file, result file, you can see total number of skipped is 3, executed and ignored is 3, right? And pass 0, fail 0, skip 0. And total number of pass time and fail time. So no output is you, ca you can't see anything that any of the test method is executed and you are not able to see your output also. Okay. So that's why you can disable or enable this particular test method, right? For the test annotation, you need to simply use enable equal to false. Okay. And if you change it to here in the method, so it will show you error. Okay. You need to give all the information in the test annotation not in the method part. So here, if you changing to here, enable level ball, you can see some error message is coming, right? So it is not possible. Only you have to change it to, I mean, in that at the rate test param annotation, parameter annotation, you need to pass the parameter, right? Enable equal to false or two, or in case it is blank, it will take as two, okay? So that's all about for today's session. Thank you.